Hello YouTube, I hope uh, everyone is doing well today. Um, I'm making this video um, as um, one of my viewers reached out and asked about the Green Jordan and uh, also the Core Kings, the, um, uh, the larger Core Kings Jordan. Um, now uh, luckily for him, I actually do have a, um, a reprint uh, of the Green Jordan. Um, I don't have the um, the Court Kings Jordan, the reprint. Uh, the reason why is that, from what I, I know, um, as of this recording, um, that the um, the Court Kings Jordan, the fakes were a normal card size, so uh, the real ones are the large ones. And um, you can you can actually go online, obviously through you know eBay or whatever. They have uh, several graded copies, um, but they're they're large. The the card uh, stock is thick. And then the reprints that I've seen, um, I, th I believe there were there were blue, but I even I think I might they may have had different border colors, but the smaller ones uh, are definitely not um, authentic. Um, they were large, um, and uh, um, thus thus that's why obviously they 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 get treated. Um, it's not the 101, um, but um, they were large. I, I still think I mean I, I still. I don't have one with me, but uh, I, I do have one. I, I like. I, I I think they're pretty cool. But uh, um, the easy the easy thing is if if your your um, eighty four uh, Core Kings Jordan is or any Core Kings for that matter is a regular sized card, it's it's not real. So, um, anyways, I have the green one here, and what I wanted to do today is like the other um, compare it with a. This is a common. Taylor also is a good player, but uh, you know, on the relative scale, um, uh, it's a common. Uh, this is an eighty-four star um, star card, so uh, just kind of give you a good sense here. And this is the reprint. So I'm just gonna take this out here to give a better look at it. So here is the fake, and you know what? Let me even take it out of the bag. And yeah, it's more obvious, but with every every fake, and this actually, when I touch it, has a little bit of a gloss to it feel uh, versus. This has just the paper feel. Now, I don't know if, if they put gloss on the, the actual E. Uh, this is the Gatorade set, right? So, um, but that's one noticeable difference. Um, if you look at the picture quality, this is clear versus this. This is a, is a little bit grainy because, again, the five percent reduction and then also the logos you notice that this pops out this one's flat and again you'll notice in terms of font and if you know even with um, the font here looks kind of faded versus again these pop out Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus here, but even the font, you can tell the difference here. Again, with every every reprint, there is a reduction in detail, so that's why. I'm 
But obviously I'm not a professional grader. It's just I've, I've uh, collected these for a while. And, um, you know, you just get to notice actually the big difference where when I, I did purchase a bunch of the reprints and um, I noticed that, uh, you know, you, you can tell. Uh, once you once you hold them side by side with, you know, uh, never mind the real ones, but the, just even the common commons in the set, or from you know from the, in general from Star, and you can see that there's a, a difference. And again, it's it's odd, but this has kind of a gloss feel finish to it. And again, I don't know if uh, yeah, see, so I'm not sure if I can even show you, but the. Um, there's a gloss finish to this, so I'm not sure if the Gatorade set had that, but I know that Star itself was kind of a low budget operation. So, anyways, um, I hope that helps. Um, and like I mentioned with the 84 Star Core Kings, it's large, they're large cards, so the reprints I know um, were regular size. That's why I actually didn't pick up those, because I figured there was no point in those ones. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.